All right. So, uh, back again. With the more lions roar, the uh, uh, manhunters scenario. Now yesterday, or day before yesterday, I can't remember, last, last time I played. We had some uh, terrible luck with the uh, with the battles and people dying, and it was it was all around awful. So uh, hopefully we're gonna have a bit better luck today. Uh, let me just quickly refresh my memory of who and what. Oh, you're basically dead. Uh, now it's important that we keep our manhunters alive because if the um, if the number of indebted is greater than the number of manhunters, then uh, it affects morale really poorly and whatnot. So, um, we, uh, we don't want that to be a thing, obviously. Um, let's see what missions here. You find a few of the councilmen and aldermen of Nazir. Ebed or Liebed? I don't, I'm not sure. Now, the visor of war, the resident visor. How many roles does he have? They approach you with a document stamped with his elm, emblem. Sorry. We shall soon be off for Hakim Al Ramal. Uh, that's just left of us. And with a caravan of goods, the city guard refuses to aid us in defending our wares. However, we are still right beneath the gilder's eye and our pockets are, are full of shine we'll pay you crownling to help us get to our destination for the next two days fair enough how much we're we talking uh we need to be more because okay no 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 140 in advance and five okay fair enough that's that's uh 700 in total so we'll, we'll take it and we could use the days to heal to be honest um what um, we need allies. Well, okay, apparently we only have two ambitions. Okay. Wait, can we not get a banner? Because that's always an ambition. I guess we can't get a banner. That's that's not very good. So we'll just make friends with the village, I guess. Along the road, you come across a line of men being marched in chains. Their leader remarks that they are part of the indebted, but one of the men, clearly a northerner, yells out that they're merchant mariners who have been captured by pirates. The supposed manhunter at the head of the troop laughs. Don't believe his lies, traveler. Those who are deeply indebted uh, to the gilder fear the long journey of, re of, of re to redemption. He'd rather die than face hellfire than trouble himself with salvation. Is there nothing more human than that? I mean, fair enough. It's not, it's not wrong. Um, let me try uh, getting him to hand him over to me because free guy. Uh, uh, you, rattle a, you rattle a chain and bring a few of your indebted forward, flexing your indebted wrangling cred. You tell the manhunter that you've experienced, you have experience in these matters, and you can tell these unruly sailors will find a moment to ambush and kill him. Hand them over to me, and I will pursue their salvation accordingly. Keep them in your stead, and the gil gilder himself will not be able to protect you from the evil which lies in their hearts. The manhunter thinks for a time, then nods in, in agreement. You're right. This is a good haul. The gilder shall see my deeds have already been enough, and my intent is true. Take them for yourself, and may the gilder sign subl shine sublimely upon your life and theirs. Fair enough. The gilder is most benevolent to let you pay off your debt. Uh, let me just stop you right there for a second. Uh, oh, he's got clubfoot. That's a really shitty one. But he does have plus three to his defense and plus two to attack, 
which means he could definitely be a um, potent uh, like spear shield wall type of guy. So that's swell. Um, for you, sir, he's huge, so is he? he's got a debuff to his melee and whatnot. So I guess a backline boy would be the best bet for now. We'll give him a little club to beat someone with. Um, yeah, so I mean, they're obviously not happy about, um, <laughs> obviously not happy about being taken captive. Um, nine indebted to three manhunters. What was the ratio supposed to be again? I can't remember. I think we're at the ratio. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's, it was three indebted to every one manhunter. I'm pretty sure was the, like the maximum it said. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Either way, we're, uh, we're all right. Um, how much are we paying per day? Uh, 35 per day. Yeah, so we're, oh, oh, I can't interact with quad up. Can I? I can't. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not like it really matters. There's not much we can do. I was just hoping to maybe pick up another manhunter. Just to make 100% certain we have enough manhunters. Oh, hello, friends. Now we could run away and leave them to their fate, but we obviously want to get paid. Well, there's only six of them. Um, and they don't look to be terribly well equipped. Uh, there's two with the uh, CFs, so those will be not so fun for us. Um, and only, But only one with a shield. So that, you know... That, that actually tilts the odds in our favor quite a bit. Uh, now, unfortunately, we only have the one archer, who is terrible. Um, oh, shit, I gotta... I'm just gonna put you on that. Uh, I gotta make sure one of the men hunters gives the uh, archer boy a little whip so he can perform in a uh, appropriate manner. Because his archery skill does suck, but the uh, whip will obviously give him a significant boost. Like the one, uh, the one guy that uh, was it this guy? It was one of them that had like 55 or 58 or something for his attack, and he and when he whipped him, he had uh, and had uh, confident. Then it was uh, it was like 70. Like that's that's a crazy jump. Um, you, sir, will go there and then wait. I want you to wait. Oh, you've got no armor. I'll just wait for now. You can go there and wait. There we go. Um, you give him a good old whippy whippy. Um, uh, for him. You are also a manhunter, so give him a good whip. And then him as well. Yeah, now let's go look at uh, this gentleman here. Yeah, see, it went from like 52 to 64. And that's without the morale boost. So, that's, you know, that's significant. And then for him here, yeah, it's 51 now for his range skill. So that's, that's quite good. Um, it's definitely... Definitely a uh, good mechanic. Uh, like, uh, like once we can keep people alive, uh, I'm sure that this is going to be overpowered as hell. But the trouble is going to be keeping people alive, of course, because naturally. Um, you can just there you Well, the spear wall, I guess. I don't know, just wait. Uh, you can just wait as well. Um, hmm. I want to put him here because he does. Oh, perfect. Uh, that triggered his morale. Um, because he has a shield, and that that thief will mess us up. 
So we want to 60, 52. Uh, I'm going to take the 52 because the 60 is probably going to screw it. And, well, I mean, we missed it, but we messed his armor up, so there's that. Um, and then hopefully we can get a... Yes, he did. And then you... 40%. Well, he hit the guy behind him. I mean, fair enough. And then he hit him. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Um, if I make him go there, that's so risky. Um, what's his defenses? Eighteen, sixteen, and then if I make him shield wall, thirty-three, thirty. Uh, so put him there, and then just for the accuracy bonus. 84, yeah, there we go. Yeah, now he should be so messed up, he probably won't be able to get it any kind of decent anything on us. Oh, that's not swell. I mean, but we can whip him to reset his morale back, so that's not a big deal. And that meant, oh, he's got rotation. That's a little bit annoying. Um, you can wait. Um, I'm gonna put him here. Or no, actually, because he'll just yeet himself down this way. Yeah, see, he's too hurt to do anything useful. Um, I'm going to... Oh, he can't reach him. Um, give him a whip just to refresh his. Um, what's the... 65, 65. But is it worth... Not really. Just refresh his whip. Um, he can reset his morale, and that resets his whipped. So that's, you know, that's really good. Um, I'm going to be careful how much I whip him, because he's got no armor. And then... Um, let me just move him down here, so the whip guy can whip people... And he'll be able to oversee whipping. 74. Um, what's, how much for the... Yeah, 74. Oh, <laughs> you missed it. Of course you did. We don't mean normal. At, oh, they're coming to help. Okay, so well, thanks, guys. Uh, that will obviously help us not... There we go. That's one down. Help us not lose people. Yeah, so now he's got the confident and the whipped. So, yeah, see, now he's got 70. That's crazy. Craziness. So, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's definitely OP. It's just, um, fuck. I don't want to move him yet because I'm afraid he'll move. Yeah, see, he should be too... Oh, jeez, oh, great hit. Great hit, sir. 63. I missed. Wow. Um, 66. Well, he got the hit at least. He got the hit. <laughs> okay. Apparently, we're not getting the uh, 35. And then take the other 35. Oh, good job. Good job. Everybody pulling their weight here, I see. Um, do I want to risk it? Okay, if I put him, hear me out, if I put him here, and then I put him here, that might make him breaking, or not breaking, because he's already breaking, so he might run. Oh, there we go, beautiful. So he's already running, and it hasn't even put the other guy there, so that's perfect. 75 and you missed it? Come on, man. That's messed up. I'm just going to put him there just so we can get a tax of opportunity. Same for him. Get a little pokey pokey in. Um, I'm just going to have him wait for a minute just in case we do. Um, give him a good old whip. Yeah, how's it feel? How you like it, huh? Um, get him over there. Get him over there. Wow, really? Surrounded by people and... Oh, well, he just lost some morale, so that's good for us. And then... 
Wow. Okay, these guys' morale is high as shit. 95. Uh, just so you know, 95 is the highest your accuracy can possibly be. So that's amazing. Oh, and they're breaking. Okay, yep. Oh, GG. It's over now. Um, it's a shame we don't have rotate. We could... Oh, that was stupid of me. Um, you can just wait. Yeah, if we had rotate, we could, um... We could rotate them out and let somebody else get the XP, but, you know, it is what it is. It happens. Um, no, we don't let... We don't do that. We fight to the death. Still 80 without the whip. That's, that's good. Alright, so that was actually a really good fight, which is swell, because yesterday we had some very terrible fights. I mean, to be fair, one of them was most definitely, you know, user error. After the battle, the sand sh shift and slide as the wounded nomads try to escape. You easily put a, a boot on, on him and hold him down. Your other hand sizing up his neck with a slit and with a slave chain. Take him as an indebted. Um, you know, I get, I'm gonna say yes, obviously, but uh, oh, okay. Seems like everything's still okay. I'm gonna check his modifiers. Um, uh, has enjoyed a visit to Quantum, has enjoyed resting on. Um, okay, so it doesn't give me a modifier that says more indebted than, uh, than guys, so I'm assuming he's perfectly fine with the way things are at the moment, which is good for us. Um, wasn't there somebody back here that was supposed to be up front? I guess not. Um, go there. I keep the wrong guy to shield. I always do that. I move guys and forget that that doesn't select them. Um, one for melee. Come on, man. Killing me. Grab that. Now, obviously, health is going to be more important than ever with uh, me whipping the guys all the time. Um, I guess three for range defense. So naturally they're gonna need whoops, that's yep, not what I wanna go there, please. You can go there. Um <laughs> Disloyal doesn't really matter right now. <laughs> All things considered. You're uh you're a slave, my friend. There is no such thing as disloyalty. I'm gonna swap sides of those guys. Um, yeah, so we'll grab, uh, grab Jabir, his student here. Can you select that? Thank you. Wow, really? That's a zero roll, because he's got three in melee skill? It's guaranteed to be three. That's literally a zero. That's a one. Terrible, man. Come on, you're killing me with these rolls. I'm gonna grab him that just to make his, uh, um... I mean, we're going to take the melee and the uh, melee defense because we, we really need it. Especially considering that, you know, they're, they're stunted three levels, four levels, sorry. So that's, that's not good. Yeah, see, that's a perfect melee roll. Thank you. Uh, we'll grab the health. And I guess the fatigue. Um, student for everybody. Now, the Manhunters are not um, subject to the same thing, so they can still get level 11, so we're guaranteed that they will get the... Um, uh, what's the perk I'm thinking about here? Um, the... Um, student. The student will definitely work for them, because... Uh, Range defense, I guess, and melee damage. Like, it's not very. These guys are not getting very good levels up. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Jeez. 
Well, we'll take the plus four simply because he's got negative one, so we obviously want that to not be negative. Um, and then... I wonder if I were to make him a ranged guy, if he can still whip people. Because if that's the case, I can keep all the manhunters in the back. And let's let's try that path. Um, let's see how that fares for us. Uh, let's see. That's a one. I'll grab the two help. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll try that. Let's see how that fares for us. I don't know why, but anytime there's a battle and you un and you unpause after the battle when you're doing an escort mission, it just sits there for a minute. I have no idea why it does that. Having reached Hakim Al Ramal, the caravan wagons are immediately unloaded and their goods taken to nearby warehouses. Once it's all cleared out, the leader of the group hands you a satchel of crowns and thanks you for making their passage a safe one. Fair enough. Thank you, sir. And it's the town's now well supplied, so there's a chance of legendary. Oh, slave revolt. Well, that doesn't benefit us. Well, oh, uh, uh, okay. It doesn't... Oh, I'm going to grab those tools because they're cheap in comparison to what I've seen the prices for tools be so far. I'm also considering grabbing the spices simply because we're going north. And I might be able to sell them for adequate prices. I'm going to buy that bow because it's, it's only $25 markup. That's not terrible. Um... Javelins as well. Um, let me grab these dates. Uh, think about the javel. Oh, the pitchfork definitely. Uh, we we definitely need that in our lives. Um, the javelins I'll think about. We'll see what missions here first. It's probably a kill slaves, I would assume. Uh, as you approach uh, Sahir Al Fade, the visor of treasury's rooms a pair of guards move to uh, move to stick you with the business ends of their halberts the electics shouting and hurried footsteps from the hall has an interfering servant comes sprinting down guards these sloppily dressed travelers are crownlings apologies crownling we are on the edge for or we are on edge sorry for uh, the very reason the visor may need you, uh, need your assistance the indebted have overtaken the goat pens in Hakim al Ramal. The usurping uprising, sorry, may spread from there. I mean, fair enough. That's how uprisings work. Um, the servant produces a scroll and hands it over. It states that there there are 490 crownlings or crown, sorry, because <laughs> I'm so used to them saying crownlings. Uh, 490 crowns awaiting those who squashed the revolt of the indebted and and the scroll bears the sigil of Hakim al Ramal's various visors. They stand no chance. Uh, let's try to get more money. Fair enough. There we go. 520. Uh, so that'll cover our javelins. I accept your offer. Now, normally, I wouldn't take this mission because, you know, I'm not going to crush a slave revolt. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. But seeing as we are slavers in this scenario, you know, fair enough. Okay, so. I just want to see before I do that if there's another manhunter here. There is not. Well, that's not very good for us. Um, let me just check the javelin price here first. 277. <laughs> see, this is why you check prices. Okay? It's literally $50 cheaper here than it is two feet away. That's, that's insanity. That's why you always check your prices. Anyway, that aside, um, who is the guy that I, 41, he's got 41, you, you have 42? Okay, okay. Um, so, we'll, we'll try him. Uh, who has the best melee? You have the best melee, so you can have that, sir. I'm gonna give that net to you, though. 
And then, uh, and then him, I'm going to give the javelins to. Now, we don't have any uh, a quiver of arrows to utilize this bow. I just bought it because it was cheap. Oh, well, that's not even that far away. Now, naturally, they're going to ask us to go away because that's what, you know, obviously. But we're going to kill them because that's what we're paid to do and we're slavers. Um, you get to the goat pens to find it burned to the ground and ransacked. A survivor stumbles out of the blackened ash of the building. He explains that the indebted set themselves upon everyone available, ravishing the women, killing the children, stole everything of value, and then split off into the hinterland. Well, okay, now I don't feel bad about hunting down a bunch of slaves, you dicks. Like, <laughs> that's... I understand, like, you're, you've are you been enslaved, but that's no excuse for you to uh, ravage women and murder children and shit. Like, that's that's messed up, man. Wait, 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 wait. Was that more indebted? Oh, no, those were nomads. Um, Do I want to double fight it? That could be a thing. Like, I could double fight it. I mean, they're just nomads. We're, we're all right, right? Um, it's only six of them. And I mean, they're not going to have jack shit. They're indebted. They're, they're just going to basically be punching us with cloth. Clo yeah, let, let's, let's go fight them. Um, yeah, they, okay. One guy with a shield again. Same as last time with the merchants. No big deal. Um. We're just gonna have everybody wait. I do want him to give him a whippy whippy, just because he'll uh, actually, and then I'm gonna get him to get up here so that he has the height bonus to yeet uh, javelins at them because he does have the debuff for nighttime. So, um, yeah, so this is 28 range skill, which is obviously trash. I probably won't get him to throw any javelins, but you know, just in case, right? Like, I'm gonna have him whip him and him. And then you can chill, you can chill. As with you guys, I just want to make sure everybody's got their whip buff. Yeah, I figured they'd come this way. That's why we whip these two, because they're going to push out. Um, you sure can wait. I don't want you to get too far, because I want you to get your whip bonus from him. Um, let's take him. Whatever. He's got to stop him there because I don't want too many to gather here. So we'll have him stop him there. And then. Oh, if I had a brain, I would have just. I would have just made him wait and then had him shoot them, but I didn't look at the hue. That's my bad. 32. That's. that's definitely not bad. Okay. Well, we got one hit and it affected his morale, so that's good for us. Um, have him shield wall and can he get there? No, he can't. Well, I mean, it's more important for him to have shield walled. Um, I'm going to put him there simply because he's already hurt and his morale is affected. Um, and then, let's see, 81 and 80. Yeah, 1% because that's the difference the morale makes, right? Like, um, going to have him poke him because then he can come here and hopefully finish him off. I mean, that's, yeah, that's not a big deal. Um, How far can he... Okay, he can't reach. So we will have him take three steps forward, or two steps, rather. And then give him a whip. And then... Uh, we're going to have him come ar and get around so he can get a cheeky little slash in on them next turn. Um, do I want to put him in harm's way like that? Is the problem. Especially with a wavering... Um, Wavering morale, um, oh, if I put him there, he could definitely get that kill if he decides to not be trash. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, 59. Beautiful, good job. Uh, now, he's got confidence, so he's, again, he's going to have, like, 70 attack. Yeah, 71 attack. So that's, yeah, that's really good. I don't know why he's always getting confident. I mean, I'm, I'm not mad about it, but that's... How come it doesn't work for everybody else? That's messed up. Um, 
Okay, so... You, sir, can just... I, I don't know, go like there. We want to protect our shirtless guy, so I'm going to put him here and have him spear wall, because obviously he is going to attempt to get on, uh, on Ferris's left side here. Or, you know, circle around, and that will give... It'll force him to go all the way around, if he goes around at all. Um, and then you can go there. Can we be 61? There we go. Perfect. So he doesn't get a turn next turn, so that's swell. Um, especially since our shirtless guy's right there. And then I'm going to put him here and make him spear wall because these shirtless guys are here. Can you... 5%? Yeah, no. I'm, I'm not even risking anybody like that. That's insanity. Um, give him a little whip. Sorry, I know you don't have a shirt on. Yeah, see, I knew he'd try that. Well, he got one hit on him, so that did force him to waste his AP so he couldn't do shit. So that's fine. Works out the way we wanted it to. And now he's he's got mad stats right now, so he's not even gonna... He, he's laughing at these people trying to hit him. Uh, I'm gonna put him there, simply because these guys are gonna be more of a problem. than He'll, he'll take care of these two. Uh, Ferris will mess them up. Um, so, I want to... You, because you don't even have a whip on, and he's only got a shirt. A five shirt at that. Oh, we lost a guy, a good guy too. That sucks. Well, be like that sometimes. 89. 93. I'll take that for sure. Okay, well. Happens. Uh, give him a whip. And then, I can't believe he, uh, he... Oh, he must have got a headshot on him, probably. My guess. 61% missed it. Come on, man. It's messed up. Um, yeah, and he's breaking now, so he's basically useless to me. Um, he also doesn't have a shirt. He also doesn't have a shirt. 65. Okay, there we go. So both of them are stunned now. 56. 65. Um, give him a little smacky smack. 41. Or 44. Sorry. Oh, we got one. There we go. Well, he's almost dead. Under shoulder, leg. Okay, yeah, he's, his stats should be terrible enough. He can't really do anything now. He's got a shield, so I'm going to put him there. 63. 65. Oh, come on. Can't get a 65. Um, I'm tempted to put him here, but, um, that's too risky, so I won't do it. And he'd still get an attack if I put him there, but he's also, uh, he can just wait. He can also just wait. Give him the bu buff back, please. Um, give him a buff. Um, when does he act? He acts before what's his face. So we'll make him wait. And then after uh, Rodwan, the unlucky attacks, then we'll um, it. <coughs> I'll give him a performance increase. You can wait. Wait. And then you can give a little uh, 68, 66. <gasps> Perfect. There. So now he's not even a problem. Okay, you rotated him out. Not the biggest deal in the world. He should be able to kill him. Yes, he can. Oh, that was stupid. He didn't turn. Oh, yeah, well, that was, yeah. What happens when you're an idiot? I mean, they're all running now, so there's no point to. I mean, besides that guy that just got the kill. But, 
That's, that's stupidity on my part. Uh, cool. Give him a whack. He can just go up here, I guess. He should have a clear shot on him. Really? There's no way he doesn't. Whatever. Now... Things were all right. We didn't. We lost a couple guys. That one guy really hurts us. But what? Oh, our guy's running away because he's a little bitch. But you know, it happens. Okay, we missed a forty percent. Ah! All right. Okay, there we go. He's running now too. So there's no. This fight's over now. Unfortunately, we lost two guys, so that sucks, but... <sighs> oh, the beggar. Oh, that's the... That's the, uh... Oh, hey, we got the armor back, at least. And the shield, and... Oh, okay. Well, we got the stuff back, so... Losing him is only a minor setback, I suppose. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll take him... Oh, and he's got three stars on melee. That's okay. That's good. Um, so then we'll make him a mace boy. Because the mace guys need to have really good... Um, oh, you don't even have a shirt here. Have that shirt. Um, yeah, the, uh, the mace guys have to have really good skills because... The uh, accuracy is solely determined by the... Um, that grab that and we'll grab the melee just because melee defense um, you sir we will grab steel brow so headshots aren't critical hits anymore um, go for morale that's a really good roll uh, we'll grab that because he does keep getting confident and the higher his morale the better the chance that he'll get that, which, you know, we obviously want. Um, I'll take the three for melee, just to increase his accuracy. And then the fatigue, I guess, because it's the only thing worth anything. Um, whoops. Does it tell me what level the guy we just lost was? Uh, it was the bigger... Um, oh, he only had two kills, so he probably wasn't that high of a level. Alright, well, anyway, on to the Indebted, which, you know, by comparison will be an easy fight. Oh, and we... Effectively, we only lost one guy for that fight, because we... We got the, um... Why can't I... Select them for attack. That's that's weird. There, now I can. That's awkward. Many nomad cutthroats. Oh, I guess they have weapons because they're canon as nomads now. Okay, yeah, whatever. As long as I don't play it stupid this time, <laughs> we'll be fine. If this guy's really fucking annoying. He's always going to start with terrible morale because he's a jerk. Because he's disloyal, so he's trying to run out. And you know what? I'm going to get him killed this fight. Because I'm tired of his face. Tired of his face. Could select the white, please. Um, you. And then you. Yeah, so, so that sets his morale to uh, steady. We need some hats. We need to stop destroying people's hats so that we can have hats. Why are you going that way? I guess because these got three are unarmored. Okay, apparently everyone's going this way, so let's put him here in spear wall. And then uh, you can yeet some arrows at them. Uh, we'll do. Oh, come on. We'll do him because he's got a spear. There we go. At least he's got a significant injury. That's the goal. Is he, even if we can't kill them, we want to injure them. 
because that injury will provide uh, significant debuffs to them. So that's something that we definitely want. 60%. What are the odds of disarming one of these guys? 40, 40. Uh, yeah, okay, well. Give him a whip. Um, you can't wait because you can't. So just in your turn, you are gonna go... Will he get it? You know what? I don't care if he dies. I'm sick of him running away. Oh, hey, it affected his morale, so that's good. And then you are going to get a little sneaky sneaky around back. You are going to go there. And can you get the stun on him? Six, seven, one. Well, you, you hurt him, so that's something. Do I want to put... Hummed in in that situation. Um... I guess he can shield wall, so he'll be okay. Uh, I just want to check the percentages. Yeah, no, it's not worth it. Shield wall. And then uh, <coughs> pokey pokey. And then you may be able to stun. No, but you got damage, so that's fine. Uh, okay, if you take three steps that way. 36. 56. Perfect. You know I can just move him, right? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. It's very not good. Yep, well, there he goes. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. Give him a slashy slashy. Jesus, I feel like they do way more damage in this scenario than they do in every other scenario. Oh, perfect. That triggered two of them to flee, so that's good for us. He's done. I don't... He's fleeing, so I'm just going to put him here. 63... Oh, a regular attack should kill him. Perfect. And then give him. A oh, he already had it whipped. Well, yeah, I'm stupid. It's fine. Um, that. And then you go help them, please. And then he's hurt, so he should be able to handle. Seventy-three. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> there, he's running, so he's not a problem anymore. <laughs> Oh man, my luck is abysmal. Um, get him to refresh his whip. And then refresh his whip. I'm mad that he's surviving because he's the most annoying guy. But the other guy is not. I missed a 68. That's awful. <laughs> And I missed a 65. Okay. Well, that's just who we are today, apparently. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not going to have a clear line of sight because line of sight is weird. Come on, there's no way you don't have line of sight on him. And you miss anyway, because you're trash. That's about right. There we go. Well, we lost Ham Hamden, but... I don't know. It is what it is. We probably will get one back. End of the fight. 
Uh, you look down at the corpse of a slave, his body molded by labors of a prior life, but in his hands and around his neck, the adornments of stolen weapons and loot. In a cruel turn of thought, you find it strange that they would have been easier to put down had they simply no ambition at all besides their freedom. But it was their greed and sense of wanting that made them all the more dangerous. But they're dead, and they are dead. And the visor of Hakim al Ramal will be happy regardless of whatever lofty goals the indebted had. I mean, fair enough. It would have been harder to kill them if they were just trying to be free. Okay, we didn't get a prisoner for that battle, so that kind of sucks. I mean, we... Oh, we lost an armor, too. That's, That's unfortunate. Um... But that is the... Um hardest part of this scenario from what I was reading is that you're constantly losing um, you're constantly losing your um, oh, grab the bullseye um, you're constantly losing your weapons and armor because the indebted suck and that translates to losing more stuff um, grab the help Well, you know, we'll uh, do the best we can. That's all we can do. So here, Al Fade, the visor of the treasury, is buried amongst uh, the limbs of his, in the guard's words, favorite harem. He pokes his mouth out, and you get the sense his eyes stare at you from the nook of a sweaty knee, uh, though they're... they're there's no real telling. The victorious crowling returns to feast his eyes wearily or weary upon my feast or my finest wares. I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. And it is so my scouts say that you laid waste to those upstart indebted and that the message of their death has reissued a new unity or new utility, sorry. A uh, kind word written, written by your hand, Crownling, as a warning to all the other indebted. The visor disappears momentarily, then reemerges between a woman's thighs. Servants, pay the Crownling. Two weary framed boys carry over a small chest and leave it at your feet. It is quite heavy. You are offered no help carrying it out. I mean, it's money, man. Fair enough. I'll carry it out. I don't need your help. Uh, yeah, see, so now the price of that is a little better for my liking. I'm going to buy that armor just because we lost an armor and it's relatively cheap. Uh, I'm going to buy these stupid hats simply because I feel like that's what keeps getting my guys killed like that, is that they've got no helmets. Whoops, I did not want that sword, but I bought it anyway, so now we've got it. Um, I'm going to buy these tools because we do need tools. Um. You find a few of the councilmen and aldermen of Zahir Al Sal, the master astrologer, the resident visor. They approach you with a document stamped with his em emblem. We shall soon be off for Edelwald. Hey, that was <laughs> that's a town in uh, in uh, one of my other playthroughs. I, I wonder if the, they just recycled the names. I guess uh, and to Edelwald with a caravan of goods. The city guard refuses to aid us in defending our wares. However, we are still bright beneath the gilder's eye. Our pockets full of shine. We'll pay you, Crownling, to help us. Yes. How many? How much money? We need to be paid more. Always. Sure, sure. I understand. You'll be paid 340 crowns in advance and another 30. Oh, 1380. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's 100% do that. Um. Now. Um. Who is better? You are better. So you here have that also have that armor. Uh, have that hat is better. And then you can have that hat. And you don't even have a shirt. <laughs> so you can have that shirt. Um, yeah. And that's the best we can do currently. Um, let's just check with the 
quick. No, I want armory. There's no armory here. Uh, let me check for... No. Okay, um... Now the, one of the problems, uh, how much are medical supplies? We are getting low, uh, 320, geez. that's crazy. Um, now one of the problems is that, uh, okay, nobody's hurt significantly. One of the problems is that to get Manhunters, we're gonna have to keep coming back to this area. So that's not gonna be a happy time for us. Because if we're all the way up north and one of our guys dies, we now we have to go all the way back south to get another guy. And that's, or at least as far as I'm aware, I don't recall ever seeing manhunters anywhere but the southern states. So that uh, now, of course, this scenario may change that. I don't. Oh, hey, two spears. Uh, uh, along the way, a strange sight: one dead man pinned to the earth with spears. His own blood has been used to circle his corpse, and other strange ritualistic rites have been painted by way of his lifeblood. Jamil the Whip starts retrieving the spears. You try to tell him to stop, but it's already too late. He holds the weapons up. What? These are of good quality. Why would we leave them here? I mean, fair enough. <laughs> well, if there was a, a defic protection here, it's already been broken. You collect the spears. I mean, fair enough. Might as well take them. Just pause here because you can interact with villages when you pause. I'm just gonna take notice. Yeah, I don't think you can. Uh, I don't think you can buy. Uh, that's 27. Get rid of that because we did just pick up two spears. So we can afford to throw away some of the equipment with crappier condition. Um, because we are. Gonna start running low on tools, which is not very swell. Oh, but they're actually decently cheap here. But I want to save money for medical supplies. Um, 108. Um. Oh, whoops. The shields are right fucking there. 1520. Okay. Well, I just realized I'm an idiot. We have shields. Why didn't I give these guys shields? Because I am a stupid. Clearly there. Anyway, uh, I wanted to see if they had arrows, but they clearly do not have arrows. 67, I'll take that. Um, 87, that's a bit more than I want to spend. Alright, um, you have a 50. You, sir. Um, Yazid I definitely want to keep alive, so he can have the 45, you can have that. Alright, uh, oh, let me just check the, quick. uh, yeah, nothing useful we can afford. Alright, onward. Yeah, I actually played this game for a total of, on my first campaign, for like 300 and some odd days before I realized that you could pause while you're on a caravan and uh, interact with the cities. Now like, oh, oh, we could 70. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's do that. Jabir the prisoner is in good spirit. Fair enough. How's everybody else's mood? Everybody else doesn't give a shit. Okay. Well, fair enough. Let's continue. I might do a few missions while we're up here because I feel like fighting regular brigands is a lot easier than fighting the um, southern boys. Um, Jesus, they're crazy expensive. Uh, that's not a happy time. Um, I might grab the pitchforks. Um... I'm gonna grab this one. And then, uh. I'll give it to him. <coughs> uh, 
Now, ultimately, this uh, this is like the peasant Milita playthrough where you can have 16 people on the field at uh, any given time. So once we get sufficient enough that we can stop dying every three seconds, then we can uh, collect decent weapons and armor and actually have a squad that's not going to die in three seconds. Uh, also dogs. We can uh, utilize dogs. Well, 37. That's not bad. Um, hmm. question is, would I rather him keep the javelins or do the bow thing? Um, uh, let's just grab him, I guess, because... We will give him the bow. Uh, the net, whatever, I don't care. Uh, all the arrows as well. And then he can have the javelins because he's got 42. And then we'll put that there. And then we'll put that there. All right. Onward again. Now, ultimately, we want to have a whole back row of people that have uh, two square reach weapons, or two hex, sorry, reach weapons. And, um, okay, there we are. We're here. And then um, range capabilities. Edelwald greets you with a swarm of detailers looking for work. The caravan leader doles out crowns to the men there, and there, their grubby hands go to the going to the carts and unloading the cargo. When he's finished with the throgs of men, the leader turns to you. He's got a satchel in hand, and this is for you, mercenary. You take it, and you take it. A few of the daytellers watch the exchange of monies like cats would a dangling mouse. 1,380 crowns, and Edelwald is now well supplied. Okay, so let's see what kind of shenanigans is going on in Edelwald. Holy crap, baskets. Everything's expensive in Edelwald. Edelwald is not having a happy time. Um, it's got missing villagers. Um, war dog armor for... 50 bucks. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that just because if I pick up a dog for cheap. Um, it's only 50 bucks. You come t uh, to Jost of Edelwald and your shadow alone startles the man. He sits up straight at his desk and nods. Ah, I got the fits. No mind to you, your being here. Sellsword. Though you, you are scary enough, but... Word around these parts is that a lot large spiders are afoot. I don't like dealing with spiders. Uh, I've reason to believe the stories being that I'd gone to a farmstead and seen large web webbings and devoured livestock. I need a man privy to absolute violence speaking to you here, and I need such a man to find the nest of the monsters and put an end to or put them. To an end. Are you interested? Let's talk crowns. We need to be paid more. Four sixty is all right. Uh, it's only a one star. Let me let me think about. It. Let me see what's going on here. For people. Bertwin the archer. Um, he only wants eight a day. That's not bad. Um, 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 um three eighty is a little steep. But he also. I mean, I just got paid thirteen eighty. So uh. Yeah, let, let's hire him. Let's. We need an archer that's worth his fucking weight. Wonky bow. What the fuck? Uh, thirty to fifty. What's the short bow? Thirty to fifty. Okay, so same stats. Um, you go up there and you there and you there. Um, yeah, we'll we'll keep him because you know it's it's oh. Oh, he can whip them too. Okay, so we don't need men hunters necessarily. Okay, good to know. But does he count on the ledger? Yes, four men hunters in the company. Okay, perfect. So anyone counts as a men hunter according to the game. Fair enough. Okay, so that that 
changes things greatly. Um, do I want to do weapon makers? I, I hate the fucking spiders. Don't get me wrong, I'm not afraid of spiders by any measure. I just, they're annoying because they have the poison attack that goes through your armor. And in this particular situation, we're whipping my guys and doing damage to their health beyond their armor is, is probably not a good combination. So, I'm just going to go over it. There was only one. What the hell? Oh, it's probably a giant one, but still. Um, let's... What do you get for armor? Uh, nothing I can afford. Uh, well, I could buy... What this? Eh, oh... Uh, Twenty-five is an awful. Uh, let's grab one. Mark up on everything else is pretty terrible, though. Um, yeah, the markup on everything else is horrendous. Um, so let's see. Uh, what what do you got for people? Uh, bigger. Um, fine. Um. You enter uh, Sutter Stott, and a man immediately approaches, trundle, uh, trund trundling sorry, through the mud to get to you. He announces himself as someone in the employee of Falk the Steward, a man of some power in, in this town, and he, along with the thoughts and monies of others, have decided to seek your services. I'm all ears. Falk the Steward standing by his window peering out while nursing a mug of mead he doesn't really seem to be focused on anything in particular and even talks as if he couldn't care less about the conversation grave robbers are plundering the cemetery again i'm not really asking too much of you cell sword other than to go there and put an end to this foolish business go to the cemetery and kill every grave robber you see got it good let's talk money we need to be paid more um, not really interested because it's probably undead or the uh, whatever the fuck things that, you know, eat corpses and get stronger. A man strums a stringed instrument as you walk by. He slashes an ear piercing chord and you turn and find him laughing. Hey, I thought you uh, that might fetch your attention. Falk the steward said we should keep a lookout for a man of your vocation. If you are looking for work. He's a man to go to. I just talked to him two seconds ago. Uh, you ask the figurehead. You ask if this figurehead pays well. The man nods. Yep, he gave me this here loot as payment once. Uh, fun fact about a loot: it, there's actually an achievement for killing somebody with a loot in this game. So that's pretty funny. Now I'm just waiting for the old devils to come down and challenge me to a tune. Falk the Stewart said, "If." You best one in a game of songs, they'll give you a golden loot. I you know, don't make deals with the devil, idiot. Now that's what I call a good payment. You would, wouldn't you agree? The man turns back to the instrument, drawing a mewling tune out of the strings. In the distance, dogs begin to howl. Fair enough. I'm all ears. Uh, Falk the Stewart grabs a chest off his shelf and puts it on a, and puts it on his desk. When he opens it, a bevy of papers pop out, almost scurrying to get free. He grabs one and lays it out on one side. There's a contract, and the other, a small drawing of a map. It's real simple, Sellsword. I have been contracted to deliver some particular cargo to Wolin. I have the goods, but I don't have the guards. If you're interested in being caravan guards for a time, maybe two days or so, let me know, and we can hash out some numbers. Let's talk money. Uh, he gesticates. Uh, gesticate? It just do calculates or whatever the fuck. Some crazy ass bullshit. Uh, with his hands pointing at his fingers as if counting something. But it means nothing to you. Judging from experience, this is good payment for your task. You'll get 700 crowns when the contract is done. Uh, we need to be paid more for this. This then, you'll be paid 770 when the contract is done. I accept your offer. Um, to Woland, about two days southwest. Okay, well that brings us closer south so we can... 
Uh, provisions will be provided, so that's swell. Um, yeah, sure, we'll do it. Um, let me just check if there's any food that's about to expire. Oh, they're both over zero, so it doesn't matter. That's medium, so I'll sell that. And then, uh, yeah, because we, we don't have to worry about eating, because they'll feed us on the way. So that's swell. Um, I don't know, a lot of people seem to hate escort missions. Or delivery missions, but I I, I don't know. I, I find them alright. It's a good way to make money. Uh, during camp, as the caravan rests, Zahir Ibn Salar takes you by the arm and secretly leads you to the back of the one of the wagons. Peeking around to make sure no one is looking, he lifts the lid on the crate. Gems shuck about inside, shimmering sharply in what light there is. He clo closes the lid. What do you want to do? Uh, that's a lot of dosh, sir. Uh, I mean, we're fucking... We're doing this mission, man. Get back to work before I beat your ass. Man, we don't steal. We're not thieves. We may be slavers, but we're not thieves, man. I'll just stop here in case there's a trade good or something available of use. Um, oh, 94. I'll pick that up. Um, oh, some arrows... 100 bucks, we'll take that. I will grab these uh, quiver of bolts just in case we get a crossbow for, you know, just next to nothing, so we might as well. Uh, oh, another pitchfork. Um, ow. 150, six, six bucks over a markup. Uh, yeah, sure, grab it. Um, oh, and most importantly, medical supplies. We most definitely needed those. Okay, um,. Ooh, 53, um, 52, he's got 65, so give, ah, uh, well no, because he's got the whip, the whip can reach three hexes away, uh, 51, yeah, so give it to him, because, so he has a melee option, alright, there we go, um, just a quick look at, at who's, Oh, Raymond, the uh, witch hunter. I mean, I'm sure, witch hunters are good, and he's got a crossbow, so that you know, that would be great. But uh, you know, a little. Oh, dogs. Let me quickly see. The price of dogs. Um, one fifty-six is actually f forty. Uh, forty-four below markup. Uh, yeah, I do have a dog armor, so we'll grab him. Um. And then we'll give him to good old Ferris here. There, and he's got some dog armor. In case he gets in a sketchy situation, it happens. Um, and we still got plenty of money. We, six more days, we'll we'll get paid from this job in two. Along the way, Mutar the st st Stoic brings you to a crack in the side of uh, Kalshik Berm. You can see something glinting in the dark, whatever it is, it's earthen hold would be hard to go uh, hard going to dig through the cell sword knots. I know. It's in there, good and solid, but I reckon it's something worth fetching. What do you think? Uh yeah, let's take let's take the chance. Um you order the cell swords to uh, to use whatever tools are available to dig up into the ber berm. It takes a good clip of time to make headway into the Kalish, but eventually Zahir Imib Zalars, uh, Salar, sorry, manages to loosen the earth in, the earth enough to reach it and take the hidden treasure treasure right out. It's a golden chalice and a scattering of other items we could sell at the market. Okay, well, what are the other items? You just said I got a golden chalice. Oh shit, that's worth a lot. Damn. Um, okay, I mean, we lost 15 tools, but... Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, we lost 15 tools, but... It'll be, uh, nine guys. Uh, one archer, one slinger. Uh, most of them don't have shields. Only one seems to have a shield. Not... Or seems to. Or only one does, we can clearly see. Um, and that's a raider. He's... Not too heavily armored, so we, we should be okay. Uh, 
Um, all of them with Ferris, so Ferris can stop the Raider, because the Raider is the most heavily armed, and he's got that, uh, I believe that's a Falcon, or Falchon, or however the fuck you say it. Um, that'll, it'll do some damage. 30, 27. And you missed. You're terrible. Um, give a good old whippy whip to everybody. Because um, they'll go stop him. Are you... I guess they're just going to stay there because they think they have archer superiority. Oh, okay. They're going to just be weird. Fair enough, I suppose. Oh, um, okay, well, he doesn't get to attack him, but... It'll still give a 5% accuracy, so I'm going to put you up here. Because we do want to start closing that way a bit. Yeah, I'll say that forced them forward, so that's good. Put him there. Okay, yeah, that's not very fun. I guess his morale sucks. It's not very happy. Um, oh, shit. See, I'm, I'm worried because he's got the... Um, little nunchuck thing there because it has the ability to lash which means he's guaranteed to hit the head if he hits and that's not a happy time for me um considering that he's got really shitty head armor um can you wait yeah he can wait so we'll make him wait because he can get uh okay good he got to stun he can uh this guy can lash him and that'll make his shots better. Um, ugh, terrible. Terrible. The line of sight in this game is really annoying. Um... here simply because I'm worried about them failing more than I'm worried about them failing. <laughs> 81 percent chance and <laughs> missed it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man my luck is great. Very very great. Uh, 60 and we get the stun. That's good. Um, nine. Come on. Okay, we got a hit. Um, what are the sixty-two? Okay, we got the stun. Good. Sixty-two, and we missed. Okay, well we got one. We missed one. Oh, perfect. And he acted next, so he instantly lost his turn. Um, give him a whip. can't really throw his thing at anybody so uh give him a refresh oh, see that's what i was worried about is he'd lash luckily he missed the lash so that's oh he's stunned so let's get him down there and get 71 perfect um does anyone need a refresh uh you and i mean you can't really I hate whipping the guys without any shirts on. 90%. Uh, he'll take care of him. Because he hasn't acted yet. So. I'm going to stab him instead. Perfect. Yeah, and that broke their uh, morale. So that's good. Or at least affected their morale in a very negative way. Um, I'm going to have him refresh his his because he doesn't really have a sh uh, well he does have a shot on him oh. 18 how could I get the 18 but I missed the fucking 80 percent like fuck it's so weird yeah he went to stand in front of the archer <laughs> 77 77 see he's He's significantly hurt. Ah! 
There we go. Okay, so that broke them. Now the archer probably ain't gonna do shit because he's yeah he's br he's breaking. Um, I'm gonna let uh, Wolf the sailor take care of this guy, and then we'll. Uh, so we're gonna take him. Oh, come on, I don't want. I'm gonna make him wait for a second. So I'm gonna make him meet him. But if I think I think if I move him, then he might get a better chance to. Yeah, his homie's in the way. I don't care about that. Oh, we tried. Um, give him a little smacky smacky. Perfect. And then I'm gonna wait on making him move because I have a feeling he hasn't acted yet. Um, whatever. Take care of him. And then uh, go that way. Oh no, no, don't run away. Come on, come back, bro. Come back. Come back. Uh, just, just. Just shield ball, just in case the archer happens to get a lucky shot, because that's how my luck goes. <laughs> um, go ahead and. Could you give him a whip, please? Um. And you to arrow at him. Okay, no. Uh, go there. And then wait. Um, you go there and then just refresh his whip. Um, I'm going to send him over here. Forty-seven. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's how it goes. Um, okay, there he's breaking, so that's good. Oof, that was a big hit. I mean, I guess not really because he's only got a shirt, but still, that's, that's not a happy for me. Oh, come on, you gotta destroy the chainmail hat that I wanted the whole time. You didn't hit it at all. Um, he already acted, so we'll put him there. And we'll put him there. Okay, there he's fleeing, so I'll put him there so he can deadlock him so he can't do anything. Uh, that one dude might get away. Um, if so, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. Let's... Can you please... 73... can take the 73 then. He can definitely him. Well, whatever, he's running away, so it doesn't matter. Um chase him down. That's yeah, he's gonna get away. Alright, well whatever. One one gets away. Lucky. Oh, uh, you can give him a pokey pokey. Give him a pokey pokey. Give him cuts. Uh, you can just wait. Stole my kill, you dick. Well, at least we didn't lose anybody this fight, so that's that. <laughs> no, sir, we don't do escapees. <laughs> you stole my fucking kill, you dick. Stupid caravan hand stealing. Yeah, see, he had the uh, Faustion. <laughs> Not very polite. 
Ah, uh, the surviving man scrambles away from you. He's muttering something. You can't hear it, but the language is clear, nothing less. He knows who you are and what you are. Well, take him as indebted, sir. You are now a slave and sucks to suck. Ah, oh, he's disloyal. That's annoying. Brute. He does more damage. Um, get, give him that, I guess. Um... How much is that hat? 45. Ferris has a 50. You can have that hat, sir. Um, grab Steel Brow, so no more headshot critical hits, which is fair. That's a 1. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's a 1, 2. Jeez. <laughs> We're going to take the 4 in health. Uh, and I mean, I'm going to take the 4 in melee and the 3 in melee defense, but that's terrible. Can't seem to get rolls that aren't the worst rolls ever. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll grab the three for Nazir and uh, morale because 20, 22 is horrendous, which explains why he keeps breaking. It's terrible. Um, we will. I guess we'll grab the two and the two for melee defense and attack because you know. Little bit helps. We'll remove his headshot critical hit chance. Ooh, they're a perfect roll on his uh, melee. Um, we'll grab that to put him at 35. And then hit points or fatigue. Um, we'll grab hit points because it's three. And you know, the whole whipping thing. Um, same for him. Steel brow. And then. You guys are awful. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Jeez. Everybody's awful. Um, okay, I guess. Grab the range, that'll put him at 10, which is usually where I like it to be. And then we will grab um, the morale. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um,. Uh, the hood. I forgot to dole out the hood. Um, 30. Nobody's got under a... Okay, so I'm going to give it to you, sir. He's, he's got some kind of armor. Um, and you, sir, can just... Wait, why are you in back? You've got a shield. Get up front. Um... Pair that. All right, onward. Hey, yeah, no, it's uh, it's getting a bit easier now that we're we got some guys that are staying alive for more than three seconds, which of course is the biggest challenge, right? In any playthrough, not just this one in particular. At Wolen, you've made it. Having delivered the caravan just as you pro uh, you'd promised, uh, Falk the steward, you would. The caravan leader thanks you with payment of crowns. He seems rather thankful for the fact that he's alive, and briefly regaling you with a tale of when he barely escaped an ambush by brigands. You nod as if you give two shits about what happens to this man. I mean, fair enough. I, I couldn't care less about what happens to you. Um. Oh, 80 bucks for... That's yeah, that's under markup. Um, we could grab some javelins. Could grab some javelins. Uh, is all this armor under markup? Yeah. So let's um, let's grab some armor. Cause a little bit of armor is better than no armor at all, right? So um, let, let me let me just. On. That's not bad. Um, yeah, let's grab it. Uh, and then, you, sir. Oh, uh, actually, what's your shirt? 30? I have a 35. Um, you don't even have a good shirt, so have 30. Have that shirt. 
and then you have that shirt. Then you can have 20. Oh, they're both the same shirt. Um, then you can have that shirt. And then 30, 30. Um, okay, they're all at least 30. Okay, so you can have that hat. You, sir, can have that hood. Um, what's your 43? You kind of suck. Uh, let's see. He's got the whip. He's got the fork. He's got the fork. Um, Bertwin has a dagger. So let me give you a thing. Um, there we go. Oh, the chalice. I forgot to see what the chalice is worth. Um, oh, not enough. He can have. Um, that too, and that too, that too, there, um, okay, I guess, let's grab that, um, I'm gonna grab all the beers, because we can sell them, because we bought them below markup, so we can sell them later, um, Gerbhard of Woolens, turning an apple in hand, he seems Frustrated with it, almost as if he wishes it were something else, like a valuable trinket or perhaps just a tastier fruit. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> Have you ever lost something you loved? You shrug and answer, there was this girl. The man shakes his head. No, not some woman. More important. Because I have. Thieves stole my rare coin collection. How they they managed to do... How they managed to do get beyond my guards is well beyond me but i know if i set you on them i'll be i'll be having what is rightfully mine back where it belongs isn't that right or have i been misled as to the quality of your services let's talk pay uh he opens the palm of his hands i'm tied on crowns so before you ask this is all i have for now um 720 is not bad um, follow the tracks in your wallet. Uh, but it's a two star, and that could be problematic. Let me just see what they got here for people. Refugee. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't really want anyone else to pay right now. Um, uh, it's a risk to take the two star. Uh, hmm. Yeah, sure, whatever. We'll take it. Um, all the tracks. Yeah, probably like up here somewhere. Yeah, over here. Nine. Uh, a few poachers and some bringing thugs. That's okay. That's not super terrible, but the poachers could be dangerous with their bows and whatnot. Okay, did I just find a camp or something? As you approach, you catch a group of brigands lugging your employer's property around. They seem shocked that you have found them here, and no time is wasted trying to parlay. They arm themselves, and you order the lion's roar to charge. I mean, okay, that's not what parlay means. Parlay means talk, but sure. Let's talk with weapons, I guess. Also, parlay only works with pirates. Y you have to be a pirate. Oh, that axe boy is dangerous. Uh, but other than that, and uh, what's his face here with the uh, flail? Because the fl all flails have lash, which automatically aims for the head. So that that's definitely dangerous. Um, two guys with slingers are meh. And uh, this guy here with the pickaxe, he's got the... Um, mad armor damage on the pickaxe and uh these guys look like they just have short swords so there's nothing crazy but uh i'm gonna uh, give him a whip and then uh give him a whip and then we'll just uh spit the whips around okay he missed perfect You, 
Wait, what? Oh, the, uh, yeah, 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 because it's a sword, technically. Yes. Um, you can wait. I, I was just confused as to why I had repost. Um, you can wait. Um, there, there, there. No, because that's, he'd have to be there. Um, wait for now. There, and then him there, and then him there, and that fucking tree's still in the way. Uh, whatever, it'll, it'll be fine. Okay, well he's gonna go that way. Um, so then you... Hmm. You stop him there, and then he'll go here, and then he can go here, and all will be fine. That's not a good at all. Um, there. And then there. I mean, I know he can attack, but. Let's... Come on, man. 20%. That's terrible. Um, yeah, either way, he can attack, so put him there. There's no way you don't have line of sight. Really? Come on, man. Well, fair enough. At least he hit somebody. I'm gonna send him behind him, and then he's gonna come around and try to cut these boys. And then... Oh, it's such a stupid idea. Such a stupid, stupid idea. Um, I'm not gonna put him there. I'm gonna make him shield wall. Because that forces him to come here. I just, I, I don't feel like losing anybody right now. Um, especially for a mission I really didn't want to take anyway. Uh, 77. Well, we tried. Um, 69. 84. Okay, well, we got the hit, but not the stun. Try the 67. Well, we got the hit, but not the stun again. Oh, let the dog go. Yeah, go get him, doggo. Oh, in between all of them. No, that's... Oh, shit, he got the kill. Good good job, doggo. Good job. 21. That's not bad. Oh, come on. Any other time, I'd... Oh, no, the doggo. Stop. Don't don't hurt my doggo. It's not, it's not very good. It's not polite to hit my doggo, sir. Have a spear, bitch. Only weaklings hurt doggos. Okay. 80, really? 85%? Okay, and then. Um. 61. Try again. Or is any? No? Okay, well. Yeah, see, they're gonna try to lash because that's the. Easiest way for them to kill us. <laughs> would have been great if he would have hit his homeboy. Um, yeah, see, so I'm going to put him here. So he can uh, give a little choppy choppy to this guy. Or he can try, but he's going to fail because he sucks. Um, the dog's in the way. Yeah, see, I don't care if his homeboy's in the line of fire. Oh, good shot. But, uh, ow, that was rude. Um, just, uh, refresh him, and, uh, refresh him, please. Then, what's the odds? Six. Oh, jeez, we got the decap. <laughs> that is the best case scenario. <laughs> jeez. Okay. Well, that, oh, God. Well, his hat's fucked. Um, yeah, that was best case scenario, so... There we go, got the stun on him, that's good. And he's dead, beautiful. Um, can we get the stun on you? Okay, well, broken nose is just as good. Um, 
You go there. And uh, give him a little slash for what he hurt the dog. Yeah. We don't hurt dogs around here, man. Um, he's... He's got that handled, so I'm gonna make him go help the dog out. Because we, we prefer the dog doesn't die. Because obviously we lose the dog and the uh, dog's armor. So I'm gonna make him take a step just so he's closer. Give a poke, and there we go, he's dead. Um, he's got the range, yeah? And the line of sight? Yes, he does. And he missed. And he missed again. Good thing none of our guys were standing there. Oh, perfect. Per oh, and they're all running. Beautiful. Um, you know what? Just get there. You're, you're fine. Um, and then hit him. Or not. Okay, well, he chose not to run, so... Fair enough, I guess. Um, you go there. Hi. I'm going to be poking you today. And, um, you, you can go here, because, uh, what's his nuts there? We'll just... <coughs> there we go. And then, uh, you can go there. Give him a slashy slashy. And then, same for you. Go that way. And I'll step here and give him a little whack on the head. Um, you can wait. We don't need to waste any more ammo. They're running. And there we go. He's also fleeing. Give him a whack. <gasps> Alright, well, this battle went well. Put him down. We don't, we don't have to retreat. And the doggo didn't even die. We didn't even lose the doggo. So, that's good. <laughs> You get the kill? Yes, he can. Oh, and the decap. Nice. Uh, oh, we got an armor. 55. That's good. Um, we got a good flail, so that's that's good. I'll probably make somebody grab that. A bow and arrow, and we got a couple short swords, so that's that's good. The battle over, you retrieve the rare co coin collection from the wasted clutches of your enemies and prepare to return to Gabhard of Wolin. He surely will be happy to see of your success. And we didn't get a prisoner again. Um, okay, so I want somebody with a good melee to you, sir, take the flail. And then uh, you can have that. Um, you have a level up, grab student. Oh, hey, Yazid. So, uh, <laughs> Yazid was a character in, uh, I'll grab the four for, uh, because he's got the mace, and when you, you need good accuracy for maces. Uh, I'm going to grab the morale, because his morale's terrible, and the health, because his health is also terrible. Um, Yazid, in, now uh, my other playthrough with the dead man, he actually, um, he died, but survived with the uh, permanent injury, and then died in another fight, like four fights later. It was it was terrible. Rip Yazid. Um, grab him range defense, uh, range attack, and I guess health. So I, I like to keep it at seventy health because later in in the game, you know, I'm gonna run into things like goblins a lot more often. And uh, they have a lot of attacks, just as the Weberneckers do, that go straight through your armor to your health directly, which is not a happy time. Uh, same thing for him. We'll grab that health because it's a four health. Um, we will grab him. Oh, perfect roll for the range, so I'm tempted to do that. We'll do that. Um, and then we'll grab the range defense because it's a perfect roll, and that will put him at 10, which is usually where I'd like to keep it. Alright, um, oh, we gotta dole out that jacket, uh,
Okay, are we back? Are we back? Um, okay, we're back. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> my, uh, my, uh, everything just kind of quit on me. I don't, uh, rightly know what happened, but, uh, we're back, and I guess that's what matters. Um, not sure what happened there. Um, perhaps it's my... I'm trying a new device. It could be that, potentially, I guess. That's uh, messing with my stuff. Uh, anyway, back to uh, Wolin. Uh, we we doled out all the... Uh, oh, yeah, here. Have, have that. Um, yeah, that's what we were doing. We were doling out all the stuff. I'm not sure what happened there. It just kind of gave up on me. When you return to Gaphard of Wolin, he is playing with a birdcage. What's with all these people in birdcages? Um, ah, cell, the cell sword returns, and you hold up the artifact and then set it on, the de on his desk. He takes it, turns it, gnaws, then puts it away. Excellent. And for your troubles, he waves his hands into a wooden chest filled with crowns. You gain 720 crowns. All right, so we've got our payment, so that's... Good. Uh, that sword's too broken to fix. That one's not. Uh, that's terrible. That's, we don't need that. We'll keep the shield. The spare shields are always important. Uh, we'll get rid of the pickaxe. I never use them. Uh, and then... Uh, we'll get rid of the woodcutter sacks. So we don't really need it. Uh, uh, what are the price of... Too expensive. That's what the price is. Uh, let's go to Salt Haven. That sounds like a fun place. That sounds like a fun place. Um, Okay, and there's a ruins over there. Ah, uh, holy crap, baskets. So they even want enough for their stuff, don't they, huh? Crazy. Uh, 852, yeah, I know, I'm keeping it. Um, oh, that's why, because they've got uh, ambush trade routes and terrified villagers. Uh, but uh, I'm going to save it and uh, end it here, seeing as I've seen it having technical difficulties um thanks for watching and i'll uh see you next time